everyone. This is Prophetess Sika Esther Grace with All Things Possible Prophetic Brand. I pray in the name of Jesus that this message find you in great peace and in harmony. And if it does not, I pray that it will soon resonate with your spirit and will soon resonate with your mind. We um, are talking about the grace of God and the favor of God. And is there a difference? Because we hear a lot of people talk about God's grace and God's favor. And so in today's prophetic insight and teaching, the Lord is going to illuminate our eyes and illuminate our understanding about these two special gifts from the Lord. We stop and we invite the presence of the Holy Spirit into this time of prophetic insight and teaching. I can do nothing without him. You can do nothing without him. He makes all things well. So Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Welcome, Holy Spirit. I decrease so that you may increase in the name of Jesus. And remember, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Biblically, grace and favor are the same thing. Biblically, grace and favor are the same thing. They are both gifts from God of his goodwill towards us that causes him to desire and want to grant us access to good things, whether it's a miracle, a blessing, forgiveness of our sins, salvation through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, healing, um, meeting our necessities such as food, shelter, transportation, or just granting us our heart's desires. And I want to put emphasis on these heart, heart's desires. He's going to grant us these heart's desires according to uh, alignment with his divine will, which is his word. He's not going to give us something that's outside of his word. He's not going to go against his word and, 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 and just to grant us a desire that's contrary to the word of God. So that's very important to highlight. Let us go deeper into the meaning of grace from the biblical and prophetic perspective. Grace, favor or kindness shown without regard to the worth or merit of the one who receives it and in spite of what that person deserves. In essence, grace is one of the key attributes of God. The Lord God is merciful and gracious, long-suffering, and abounding in goodness and truth. That's in Exodus 34 and 6 for those that are taking notes. Therefore, grace is almost always associated with the mercy, love, compassionate, and patience of God. Let me say that again. Grace is almost always always associated affiliated related to the mercy love compassion and patience of God thank you Lord for instance in the Old Testament the supreme example of God's grace was the redemption of the Hebrew people from Egypt and their establishment in the promised land this does not necessarily mean or honestly it didn't mean because of any merit on Israel part but in spite of their unrighteousness God's grace his 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 favor was granted upon them for those that are taking notes see Deuteronomy 7 verse 7 through 8 Deuteronomy 9 verses 5 through 6 to go a little bit deeper about the Israelites and in Egypt although the grace of God is always free I want to say that again the grace of God is always free and undeserved meaning one cannot do anything to pay for or earn God's grace it's our gift from God that cannot be purchased yet one must not take God's grace for granted we're talking about God's grace versus God's favor and is there a difference it's through the grace of God we are given salvation which we are unable to obtain grace is given freely but one must be willing to obtain it you must have a desire to obtain and receive the grace of God Ephesians 2 verse 8 through 9 goes a little bit deeper with that statement 
The grace of God was supremely re revealed and given in the person and work of Jesus Christ. His grace was revealed through Jesus and through Jesus' work. Still, grace must be accompanied by truth. It must, it must be associated by, by truth and it must be associated by faith. A person must also trust in the mercy and favor of God, even while it is undeserved. Romans 4 and 16, Galatians 2 and 16 supports this statement. To put it differently, we talked about a lot of, uh, of what God's grace. Let's, let's narrow it down to God's favor. Again, at the beginning of this video, I said biblically it's the same. And, and I'm breaking it down in different aspects to show you why I'm saying that and giving supporting scriptures as to why I'm saying that as well. God's favor is seen as special privileges granted or given to someone by another. In most cases, this favor is by someone who is in authority, such as a king, uh, your boss on the job, a governor, a pastor, a bishop, apostle, a prophet, prophetess, a banker, uh, a, a realtor. In essence, this means that God has shown his favor. And, and a lot of people will say, God has smiled upon me. And when you hear people say things like, God has smiled upon me, they're referring to the favor of the Lord has been shown upon me. God's favor has been granted upon me. Again, in essence, this means that God has shown his favor on someone through various means and various reasons. Favor can also be viewed or expressed in monetary benefits, honorary, physical benefits, regardless I trust and faith in God earns favor in all or most cases in our life. Honoring God, this is very key. Honoring God, serving God, being in relationship with God causes his favor to shine upon our life and circumstances. But again, that's not something that you can earn. It's a gift that God has given to you. So I pray that today's message has been clear because, again, when you hear people say God's grace, they're talking about um, the, the grace of God and the favor of God. When you when you hear people talk about God's favor, they're talking about his grace. Uh, number five represents biblically, as I've done a study on the previous uh, videos, the number five represents the, the favor of God, um, God's grace and his goodness towards mankind, towards us. So I just pray in the name of Jesus, the grace and favor of God be upon you. Let the, let the grace, let the spirit, let the ministry of God's grace in the name of Jesus and the ministry of God's favor be upon you in the name of Jesus. Let it be upon your household in the name of Jesus. Let it be upon your businesses. Let it be upon your children. Let it be upon their education in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be upon your marriage. Let it be upon your relationships. Let it be upon your ministry. Open your hearts and mind to the grace of God and the favor of God and whatever you do do not take his grace and favor for granted matter of fact nothing that God does we need to take for granted but today's message is about God's grace and God's favor I pray in the name of Jesus that you were blessed I pray that you were enlightened and that your eyes are better open and and you have an understanding about God's grace and his favor so that you can freely receive the gift that's already there you can re freely receive and believe it and allow the Holy Spirit to apply it to your daily life and your daily walk. And remember that Jesus is Lord. God bless you.